Hello everyone. Thank you for your interest in our research on drivers and solutions of overdiagnosis, perspectives from low and middle income countries. I am Dr. Tanya Patirna, a senior lecturer from School of Medicine, Griffith University, Australia. And I'm presenting our work in behalf of my research colleagues from China, India, Sri Lanka, Australia, and Denmark. The issue of overdiagnosis has drawn much attention in the developed countries, but in low and middle income countries, it has remained less eminent. For those who are new to this concept of overdiagnosis, it's defined as diagnosing a person with a condition which will not harm them during their lifetime by causing a symptomatic disease or death. Now regarded as the pan, uh, epidemic of modern medicine, it leads to significant overtreatment and overuse in both high and low middle income countries. Although the undersupply and inaccessibility of healthcare remain priorities across low and middle income countries, the emerging issue of overdiagnosis, which threaten health system sustainability and health equity cannot be neglected. Our study was aimed at summarizing the key drivers and potential solutions to overdiagnosis in low and middle income countries. We conducted a review of drivers and potential solutions of overdiagnosis in low and middle income countries based on a workshop in International Preventing Overdiagnosis Conference 2019 held at Sydney, Australia. This was supplemented with a review of empirical literature on this topic. The workshop included short presentations from experts from Sri Lanka, India, and China, focus group discussions, and an expert panel discussion involving participants from both high and low middle income countries, as well as experts from the World Health Organization, Too Much Medicine campaign of the British Medical Journal and International Preventing Overdiagnosis Network. We identified several key drivers and potential solutions across several interrelated domains. These domains were culture, health system, health professionals, industry, technology, and public. As you may say in the figure, these domains were based on a framework we published in British Medical Journal in 2017. Lack of evidence-based point of care guidelines, undeclared financial and other incentives for testing, poorly organized referral system, lack of continuity of care, and lack of prior evaluation of interventions based on local standards were among the key drivers. We also identified several key solutions. These included improving awareness on harms of too much medicine, developing skills in primary care, shared decision-making, prior to screening and treatment interventions, and dealing with uncertainty. In conclusion, we identified overdiagnosis as an important emerging healthcare challenge in low and middle income countries. The drivers as well as the potential solutions for this problem are complex and distinct from those of high income countries. Therefore, there is an urgent need to address the paucity of evidence on its magnitude and consequences in this region. Finally, if you are interested in joining a working group or research network to address the overdiagnosis and related issues in Asia-Pacific region, please get in touch with us. My email is displayed on this um, infographic. And thank you for your interest in our work again. And we look forward to hearing from you in your future. Thank you.